the first question we have today is the definition based question and this we are having the four definitions which is diffusion compression expansion molecular motion diffusion is the pro movement of the molecules from an area of the higher concentration to an area of low concentration higher concentration area se lower concentration area mein cheezon ko transfer karne ka jo process hota hai use diffusion kehte hain compression is a process of the applying pressure to reduce the volume of an object compression means kisi bhi cheez ko compress karna jahan pe hum log external pressure apply karke uska volume ya uska mass aur uska जो पूरी वेट होगा उसको कम करने के लिए जो हम लोग प्रेशर इस्तेमाल करेंगे वो जो प्रोसेस होगा वो कहलाएगा कंप्रेशन एक्सपेंशन इज़ अ प्रोसेस ऑफ इंक्रीजिंग द वॉल्यूम ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट बाय अप्लाइंग हीट और रिड्यूसिंग प्रेशर एक्सपेंशन क्या है कंप्रेशन का उलट वीकेंड से कि हम लोग प्रेशर को रिड्यूस करके या हीट को इंट्रोड्यूस करके किसी भी चीज़ का वॉलीम बढ़ा दें डेट इज़ कॉल्ड एक्सपेंशन molecular motion molecular motion refers to the movement of the molecules in a substance the motion can be translational rotational or vibrational kisi bhi molecule ke motion ko molecular motion kehte hain ab now we are having the second question which is name three kind of intermolecular forces in liquid explain intermolecular force in hcl hydrochloric acid there are about three major kinds of intermolecular forces hain wo hai hydrogen bonding dipole dipole interaction or london dispersion forces in hydrochloric hydrochloric acid jo hai usme jo force of attraction hoti hai jo ke aur force of repulsion hoti hai wo kiske darmiyan hoti hai दो मॉलिक्यूल्स दो हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड के मॉलिक्यूल्स के दरमियान ही होती है द इंटरमोलिकुलर फोर्सेस प्रेजेंट इन एच सी एल आर डायपोल डायपोल फोर्सेस एंड लंडन डिस्पर्जन फोर्सेस द डायपोल डायपोल फोर्सेस आर ड्यू टू द पोलैरिटी ऑफ द हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड मॉलिक्यूल विच हैज पार्शियल पॉजिटिव चार्ज ऑन द हाइड्रोजन एटम एंड अ पार्शियल नेगेटिव चार्ज ऑन द क्लोरिन एटम द लंडन डिस्पर्जन फोर्स आर ड्यू टू द टेम्पररी डायपोल्स एट अराइज इन हाइड्रोक्लोरिक molecules as a result of the constantly fluctuating electron clouds these intermolecular forces help to hold hydrochloric molecules together in the liquid state hum us hydrochloric acid mein jo intermolecular forces hoti hain wo do hoti hain dipole dipole interaction and london dispersion forces dipole dipole interaction uske andar jo hoti hai उसके हाइड्रोजन आइटम्स और के अंदर जो पार्शल पॉजिटिव चार्ज होता है और क्लोरीन आइटम में जो पार्शल नेगेटिव चार्ज होता है उसके जरिए होती है और लंडन डिस्पर्जन फोर्स जो टेम्पोरी डायपोल्स होते हैं जो कि हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड के मॉलिक्यूल से अराइज होते हैं जिसकी रिजल्ट में फ्लक्टिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन क्लाउड्स फॉर्मेशन होती है उसकी वजह से जो होते हैं जो कि बाद में हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड के मॉलिक्यूल्स को होल्ड करने में सबको होल्ड टुगेदर करने में हेल्प आउट करती है दैट इज द लंडन डिस्पर्जन फोर्सेस सो हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड में हमारे पास दो फोर्सेस होती हैं देन वी हैव द थर्ड क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज डिफाइन द फॉलोइंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव मोलर हीट ऑफ फ्यूजन मोलर हीट ऑफ फ्यूजन क्या होता है मोलर हीट ऑफ फ्यूजन इज द अमाउंट ऑफ द हीट रिक्वायर्ड टू मेल्ट वन मोल ऑफ अ सॉलिड सब्सटेंट एट इट्स मेल्टिंग पॉइंट it is a heat absorbed per mole of the solid substance as it melt into liquid at a constant temperature the units of the molar heat of fusion are joules per mole or calories per mole ab dusri definition humse kiske bare mein pucha gaya molar heat of vaporization molar heat of vaporization is the amount of the heat required to vaporize one mole of a liquid substance at its boiling point it is the heat absorbed per mole of the liquid substance as it vaporizes into gas at the constant temperature the units of the molar heat of vaporization are joules per mole or calories per mole third we have molar heat of sublimation molar heat of sublimation is the amount of the heat required to sublimate one mole of a solid substance directly into the gas as its sublimation point 
it is a heat absorber mole of a solid substance as it changes directly from a solid to a gas without passing through the liquid phase at a constant temperature the units of molar heat of sublimation are joules per mole or calories per mole so this was the answer of the question number three it was based on definitions three definitions we were having next we have question number four which is define hydrogen bonding in water and explain the anomalous behavior of water due to the hydrogen bonding hydrogen bonding is due to the chemi chemistry of the water molecule due to the positive partial positive charge on the hydrogen and the partial negative charge on oxygen now we are going to read the answer hydrogen bonding is a special type of intermolecular force that occurs when a hydrogen atom bounded to an electronegative atom such as nitrogen oxygen fluorine is attracted to another electronegative atom is in another molecule in water each water molecule is made up of two hydrogen atom and one oxygen atom the hydrogen atom are covalently bonded to oxygen atom but they are not shared equally which gives the oxygen atom a partial negative charge and the hydrogen atoms a partial positive charge these partial charges allow water molecules to form hydrogen bonds with each other aur next is question ka dusra part hamare paas kya hai explain the anomalous behavior of water due to hydrogen bonding the anomalous behavior of water is due to its ability to form hydrogen bonds hydrogen bonds are stronger than other intermolecular forces such as london dispersion forces or dipole dipole forces this means that water molecules are more strongly attracted to each other than other substances with similar molecular weight as a result water has high boiling point and melting point than other substances with similar molecular weights additionally water has high heat capacity which means it can absorb a lot of heat without changing temperature this is due to the energy required to break the hydrogen bonds between the water molecules the hydrogen bonds also cause water to have high surface tension than other liquids which allows insects to walk on water finally the hydrogen hydrogen bonds in ice cause it to be less dense than liquid water which is why ice floats on water now we are having question number 5 which is water is more volatile than glass free but petrol is more volatile than water at the same temperature explain in terms of intermolecular forces means yahan pe bataya gaya hai ki na yahan pe question ye pucha gaya hai ki water jo hai glass free se zyada volatile hai aur petrol jo hai wo water se bhi zyada volatile hai inka jo temperature hai that is constant और हमें ये बताना है इन टर्म्स ऑफ इंटर मोलिकुलर फोर्सेज दैट कैन बी लंडन डिस्पर्जन फोर्सेज दैट कैन बी हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग और दैट कैन बी डायपोल डायपोल इंटरेक्शन तो सबसे पहले हम लोग रिलेशन बताएंगे कंपेरिजन बताएंगे वाटर और गिलेस्ट्रीन का ये दरअसल ये जो इंटर मोलिकुलर फोर्सेज हैं और ये जो वोलोडाइल का सिस्टम है ये दोनों एक दूसरे से इन्वर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल वीके से अगर हमारे पास स्ट्रॉगर इंटरमोलिकुलर फोर्सेस होंगी तो जो सब्सटेंस होगा वो लेस वोल्टाइल होगा या लीस्ट वोल्टाइल होगा जिसकी हमारे पास वीकर इंटरमोलिकुलर फोर्सेस होंगी वो जो होगा मोर और मोस्ट वोल्टाइल होगा सो नाउ वी आर गोना रीड आउट द आंसर टू मेक इट यू मोर क्लियर The volatility of a substance depends on the strength of the intermolecular forces between its molecule. In general, substances with weaker intermolecular forces tend to be more volatile than the substances with the strong intermolecular forces. As I have told you before, the intermolecular forces are volatile. The system is just like inversely proportional. Water is more volatile than glass ring because it has a weaker intermolecular forces. Water is molecules are held together by hydrogen bonds, which are relatively weak intermolecular forces. Glycerin, on the other hand, has strong intermolecular forces due to its larger and more polar molecules. These stronger intermolecular forces makes glycerin less volatile than water. Petrol is more volatile than water at the same temperature because it has a weaker intermolecular forces. Petrol is made up of hydrocarbons which have only one weak 
intermolecular force which is London dispersion forces between their molecules. Water on the other hand has a stronger intermolecular force due to its stability to, to form hydrogen bonds. These stronger intermolecular uh, these stronger intermolecular forces makes water less volatile than petrol. In summary, the strength of the intermolecular forces between the molecules determines the volatility of the substance. Substance with weaker intermolecular forces tends to be more volatile than the substance with the stronger intermolecular forces. So this was about the uh, starting five questions of the chapter number five, which is states of matter liquid. So the one question is remaining which is about reasoning question. So we are going to discuss in the next video. Make sure to subscribe my channel, like the video and share it more and more. Allah Hafiz.